Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Welcome to your extra turn love readings. Thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. And by the way, I, and I forgot to mention this, like so many other uh, people that watch the video. This is the deck that I'm using. I just put the cards there so that you guys know. So uh, just for note to yourself, if you want to get this deck, that's the deck. <laughs> okay. Um, also, if this doesn't resonate with you, you can check your moon, your rising Venus signs. Uh, and if you don't know it, check the link below. If you want a personal reading, go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check the link below. God, guys, I wish you guys could see this beautiful picture in the back of me. I love it. It's like a big owl that's like rainbow colored. It's really awesome looking. And yes, the setup has changed again. It has changed again with the microphone in front of me. So now everyone should be able to hear me and you shouldn't hear the cards as much. So that's good. I was worried about putting it on uh, in front of me because I was worried it was going to get in the way. So that's my, that was my hesitation on that. All right, let's get started. Enough talking already. All right, um, Capricorn, Sun, Rising, Venus, sign. Tell me what's going on their current romantic love life for... December 1st, the 15th. Yes, we are in December. Oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, this card, man. Uh, Prince of Construction. So your current romantic love life, you are uh, building something. You're working on something. You're trying to get something done. Potentially in your romantic love life, or this could more be a more of a work thing for you. All right, what is going on with Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, um, X's romantic love life for December 1st to the 15th, 2018? This is crazy, guys. You guys really need to cross watch Scorpio. This is the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, that it's like complete reverse here. You saw, I shuffled the heck out of these cards, and I shuffled the heck out of these cards before going on camera. Yeah, cross watchers, for sure. Check out that video. Oh my God. <laughs> um, what is um, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs advice to get back with their ex? What's their advice? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Prosperity. So, 10 of uh, coins. Uh, this says to me that, you know, just work on your finances, get your finances together, you know, complete that task or offer this person something serious like a marriage or, you know, um, a future, a tangible future, a long-term future with the Ten of Pentacles, family, so forth. All right. Um, how does Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs feel? How does their ex feel about them? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. So the, you have the Princess of Swords or a Princess of Control. What is the Princess of Swords? So at the moment, your uh, ex is definitely focusing on uh, things in their mind. They're dealing with a lot of uh, things with control of their mind and it's probably because they're dealing with work-related issues here. Um, they uh, are using their head with you over their heart. They uh, are, are just not showing any emotions here in this card. But they're mentally like... It just seems like they're mentally trying to control... I mean, there's four trees here. But the trees are falling down. So it's almost like a whirlwind going on in their mind that they're trying to bring together. Uh, interesting. All right, we're going to clarify that one, of course. How? Uh, what is the blockage to Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs uh, for them to uh, reconcile? What is the blockage? What is the blockage from them reconciling for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Venus sign for December 1st to the 15th? So there's a lot of uh, living in the past, a lot of regret 
with the Five of Cups, crying over spilled milk. So someone here is living in regret, crying over spilled milk. How does your ex, Capricorn, feel about having a reconciliation with you? Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus sign. How does their ex feel about having a reconciliation with them? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. So we got the Four of Pentacles, uh, excuse me, the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is actually not a bad card. Uh, but this card I don't like because it's, it's black in color. The color is black, which, you know, for um, positive reasons, you know, it's a very protective color. Yes, but not a positive color. And then you have the wands are in fire. Uh, so it just seems like they're really concentrating on their work, completing that, you know, getting stuff done. Uh, the Four of Wands, though, would represent, uh, you know, marriage and serious potential of a relationship, you know, a serious foundation. However, I don't, I don't think just looking at the cards that that is what this is saying here. Um, okay, so let's do some clarification. Because with tarot, you always have to look at the cards around it, right? Someone is making a decision here. Someone's making a decision whether or not they want to walk away or stand up and fight. Or be single. Okay, why is the Prince of Construction here for Capricorn? Why is the Prince of Construction here for Capricorn? Uh, well, there you are. You are again, Capricorn. So you're getting your finances in order. You could be your own boss. Um, you are good with money. You're really trying to get your finances in order interesting it looks like both of you guys are um why is the ten of pentacles here for capricorn's advice a choice in love with the, the lovers card so if you really love this person if this is your choice then you know really get yourself together uh be successful be uh prosperous in your finances Oh, Capricorn, I don't know why, but your uh, love interest is uh, <laughs> looks like uh, something to do with money here. <laughs> All right, tell me, show me what else I need to know about this Ten of Pentacles. What else do I need to know about this Ten of Pentacles, please? So there's a choice. There is a choice to be made here. Maybe it's a choice to be made on your part. What's going to, what are you choosing to like, all right, should I, should I put time into this or should I just concentrate on, you know, the future and what's going on with me at the moment? Why is the eight of uh, pentacles here? Why is the eight of pentacles here for Capricorns? X. Ace of cups. Okay. What else do we need to know about this? Okay, so messages with the Page of Cups, and then you have the Knight of Pentacles. All right, all right. Let me get one more card on yours, Prince of Construction here. Okay, strength, courage, taking control of the situation, brave. So your, your ex is trying to build something. They're trying to build something and they need, they have a new offer of a message of love with someone. And then you have this Knight of Pentacles, which could potentially be you, Capricorn, which is slow moving, slow moving offer. And they are concentrating on repetitive things there could be a lot of offers here to this person but i don't think this person is really thinking about uh about love at the moment i think that there's there they, they, this person has a lot of offers with the page of cups with the ace of cups and with the knight of pentacles there's there's a lot of solid offers to this person 
but it just seems like this person's more focused in on what's going on with their school or their work or whatever, repetitive task. Or this person could be offering a lot at work. There could be a lot of offers to them at work cause that is the work card or school or apprenticeship and you're um, a, or you could have even sent them a message with the Prince of Construction and offering to build something with them and you're trying to be you know go in there and you're trying to have courage and you're trying to work on your finances so both of you seem to be working on yourselves and there's a choice to be made here. Do you focus in on your future? Or do you, because if you look at this, these two cards and how they came out, there's a choice here to focus on the future. Or this card over here where the person didn't choose is where the lovers are at, where the choice of love is. So um, this for me, Capricorn, speaks of, and then your advice card is prosperity, right? So it, it feels to me like, your, your advice is to not focus on love at the moment, to focus on your own prosperity and future. Uh, it does seem like your ex has a lot of offers coming in, but it doesn't look like they're really focused on it either because mentally they're not even thinking about anyone. They're, they're, they're using their head over their heart right here with the, with the um, princess of swords. Okay, so let's find out why the Princess of Swords is here. Yeah, they're, they're, they have um, some offers on the table. They're, they have some choices. They have some choices with the Two of Pentacles. Why else is the Princess of Swords here? But they, they're, they're, um, because they're emotionally uh, out of balance with the temperance card, which is probably them who's the blockage here with the five, why is the five of cups here? So they have a lot of regret surrounding you, Capricorn. Or you have a lot of regret surrounding this person. You you you're you're in regret about what happened. You're crying over spilled milk. You're looking at the past. Yeah, there we go again, double. But I think you wish to go back to the past, maybe to to complete it. You don't feel like it's completed with this person. You don't feel like things are completed, and you're you're really regretful of that. What else do I need to know about this five of cups? Yeah, you really wanted to start a family and a future with this person. Because this you're an earth sign person. This is you. You wanted to start a family with this person. You're feeling regretful of it. Maybe this person chose someone else. Or maybe this person is just choosing to focus in on their future. And spirit saying, well, this person's focusing on their future. You just need to focus on your prosperity as well. So why is the four of wands here for how the ex feels about a reconciliation? Okay, so we got the Eight of Wands, communication. What else do I need to know about this Four of Wands? Hmm, Lion, Deception. What more card, please? So, they felt like there was some lying and deception uh in the communication that didn't really make them happy or they want some honesty in the communication that would make them really happy that would make them feel more completed about the situation okay let's look at the bottom of the deck here yeah they, they feel like there's some kind of secrets it, this could be vice versa of well. It could be you, this could be your side, it could be vice versa. So just take it as it resonates. But there is definitely someone here that feels like there was lying and deception. And I feel that you wanted to, to start a family with this person. And someone just decided they were just going to focus on themselves. 
or focus on their future. Okay. Let us get an outcome here to this situation. All right. So, well, Capricorn and their ex, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rose, and Venus sign, and their ex, December 1st to the 15th, get back together, reconcile. There is potential here. But there's some other choices as well. So you have to be aware of that. Um, because at the bottom of the deck, okay, we do have a passionate thing going on here. I think that your ex still feels very passionate about you. But, of course, they're dealing with their own issues mentally. Um, but you still may hear something, uh, a message of passion. Either you or the other person. There's going to be some kind of action here, some kind of message here, some kind of passionate message. Um, let us get one more card on this. Why? Uh, what, what, what will the outcome be between Capricorn and their ex? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Now, see, and there's the Seven of Cups I shuffled, and then you see, here's the Seven of Cups again. So there's still choices here. There are still people around, either on your side or on theirs, because you do have a fire over here. You could be dealing with a fire sign. And then you have, again, the Queen of... Uh, you have the swords energy here or something needs to be cut out a choice needs to be made so you let me just get one more card here some kind of codependency going on all right show me what I need to know about this prince of wands and this seven of cups please for the outcome of will Capricorn reconcile with their ex? Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Show me the card I need to see. Okay, so they said there's going to be some kind of honeymoon, but be wary that there may be a honeymoon period. There may be some passion here, but there also may be uh, some other choices with the Seven of Cups. There may be other, some other um, choices here. But enjoy the holiday together, you know? Enjoy the time together. I just wanna get a card on the Seven of Cups here. Yeah, see there's some moon cards coming up, some kind of committed thing, some kind of mystery surrounding that. Friends. All right, why do we have the Seven of Cups here? <laughs> we have the Seven of Cups here, somebody's being a player. Oh my God, with the Knight of Wands. All right, so just be careful. <laughs> just be careful. Someone's being a player here. Either that's you, Capricorn, or it's the other side. Because I do see you're, you're trying to control your passions here. I don't know. Give me one more card in the Seven of Cups. Yeah, there's a lot of options here. <laughs> yeah. Someone's defending themselves. Uh, one more card on that Seven of Cups, please. Something needs to be cut out with the King of Swords. All right, yeah, so someone's being a player here. Uh, so just be aware, okay? And actually, and then we got the Devil card at the bottom of the deck. All right, so Capricorn, either that's you or your ex. I'm not sure who's the player here or what's going on here with the situation, but it does look like there's going to be some renewed passion here. But, you know, just be aware that, you know, just enjoy the time you have together. That's all I have to say. That spirit has down there. Enjoy the honeymoon. <laughs> uh, guys, I love you so much. And I appreciate you watching my videos. I appreciate you subscribing. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to be doing an interview with Michael Reed tomorrow. He's an astrologer. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to be posting a video next week on it. Uh, also, I'll be releasing, if you want to get more understanding of what's going on with the situation, what your love interest secretly wants you to wants to tell you so you'll be able to spy and see exactly what's going on here with the situation so check out that i'll be posting that next week so stay tuned for that thank you again guys so much for uh liking and subscribing i love you guys
and have a good December.